thank you so much Marie for purchasing a reading for Song Jong Ki. Uh, the last time I had a reading of him was last year. I remember. And that was almost about his uh, love life with Song Ye Kyo and a little bit of his career. Anyway, um, this is her. Uh, this is his love reading, and then later on we're going to uh, talk about his career. But let me just get something, okay? All right. So again, thank you, thank you so much for purchasing his reading and also for purchasing Jeon UV. Yubi. Yubi. I don't know how to pronounce her uh, her name and I haven't seen Resensha I'm so sorry guys I'm, I've been so busy with anime <laughs> anyway let's see his overall love energy what's going on with his love life God guys intersect angels universe and those stars and Holy spirit what is the overall overall love energy of Song Joong Ki I'm going to shuffle that one more time. The rain. It's pretty emotional. Very emotional. There's something that happened recently that made him very vulnerable. I guess. And maybe he is crying over something. That's his overall emotions. And let's see what else. Spirit, what is the message for Song Jun Ki's love life? Oh, <laughs> this could be the reason why there's estrangement, hostility separation and distance Ooh. well the divorce happened in 2019 correct right so this could be you know something that he cannot just let go of hmm I think the separation and distance is kind of like very um, related to his overall love energy this time which is the rain because the rain is full of emotion that's the energy of the rain um, that I'm using card captors and correct cards and I think he's missing somebody officially missing you I didn't mean that don't mind me if I sing something okay all right so spirit what else can you say about Song Joong Ki's love life? What's going on with his love life? What is this all about? Toxic! There's a toxicity. <laughs> this connection is unhealthy. You're together out of need or habit. Release it to be free. There's still a toxicity that's happening around his love life. Whoa, this is very intriguing. Seriously, guys. This is very related to each other, these three. Mm -hmm. This made him very, very stressful. That's why he has to rain. And it's very, you know, um, familiar with his overall love energy because once you get into a very big trouble of your marriage or your love life, you can just easily get over it. No, that's not easy. Especially when you are in your 30s and it happened. No, that's not easy, guys. It ain't easy. But who are we to say, right? Maybe he's still affected with everything that happened. 
because he's feeling lonely with his estrangement energy missing somebody so much that he is in separation with yep okay what else let's see what's going on with his love life spirit give us a message Ace of Wands. He is kind of like starting something good in his life. This is regarding about, I think he's seeking for, um, you know, a love interest, something like that. That's the Ace of Wands. Seeking for passion, seeking for physical passion. Mm -hmm. And more so, I think he is um, patiently seeking for somebody to accompany him. That's what I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands. It's like a starting over again energy. Which is very, uh, very reasonable. I mean, we can never stay, we cannot stay in a um, situation where we feel so heavy, you know? And it's not, it's not going to be healthy for the rest of your life. If you're going to stay there. For a very long time but this is a new beginning to him this day is once and i think he is on the game on the move to seek for another relationship which is really a great start it's a spark i think this is a spark of something new maybe this is a new passion that he has found you know there's enthusiasm in there this is physical, you know, the, the ones are very physical. So I think this is like, you know, physical intimacy. Which we don't even know if there's a string attached here. Because we haven't seen him dating somebody. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think there's three cards that popped up. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else can you say about Song Jun Ki? Oh. Seven of Wands, very protective of himself. This is his defense, you know, against toxicity or something that he already had an experience with, something that made him very weak, something that made him very vulnerable, and maybe um, he doesn't want to have any uh, any kind of stress when it comes to relationship. This is fire sign very physical I think this is his also defense in um, not being too attached because he's he's been here you know and this is his overall energy maybe what he needs right now is just physical intimacy because there's no emotion here only the rain This is all physical. The fire is all about physical. Okay, what else were it? can you say about Song Jun Ki's love life? I mean, men are like that, you know, when, when they're trying to get over with somebody. <laughs> I know for sure because I have guy friends who's like that. Two of Wands, another Wands. Whoa, um, I think he is probably in the middle of rethinking and I think this is decision making. Well, we all know what two, two of one is all about, it's just decision making and also um, knowing where you're going. Whether it's left or right, you know, left or right path. Mm -hmm. there, there are two things in his mind right now that is kind of like a big decision that he has to make and it's right in front of him it's like now or never kind of energy he is also feeling um, a bit uh, 
observant here. I feel like he is observing the things that's going on with his love life or finding the balance between his career and his love life because he he, he kind of like doesn't want to make any mistakes. That's why this is a major decision that he has to make. And it's not like somebody just ask him, oh, are you going to choose me or this? No, it's not like that. It's it's on his mind. It's it's there externally. He is seeing it. The two choices that he has to make. And this would determine his very next 10 years, I guess. The two of wands. The next 10 years of his life. If he's still alive. I hope so. Yeah, because you know guys, people die. So we have to really uh, be truthful about that. We don't know how long we're gonna live. Even I don't know how long we're like uh, I'm going to live, guys. And life nowadays is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Remember that. But this is a major decision that he has to make. And I don't think he has to escape this. He has to face this. He's pretty critical right now. I am shuffling so much. Oh, there's a uh, reverse. The six of wands in reverse. Another wands. <laughs> what's, what's up with him? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say something else. Because I might ask you what what's happening in Vicentia and something. Anyway, um, the six of wands. I think there was a disappointment here big disappointment that he wanted but it didn't really happen it's like um, he invested so much in that and um, not just his money and his will his energy but more so being physically right there mm -hmm. and he got disappointed I feel like there's a sense of abandonment here the six of wands being in reverse maybe that's what makes him very disappointed because there's a sense of abandonment issue right there yep there's a failure here and maybe this is also uh, some broken promises that happened we know that he failed in his first marriage and he doesn't want to happen that the second time around I mean who wants to to, to be in the same position over and over again maybe JLo you know <laughs> she failed so many uh, she failed so many um, relationships but in South Korea you know divorce is kind of like a bit unacceptable to a lot of people not a bit it's a huge huge thing in South Korea it's not like in the United States you know it's not like that it's different when somebody got divorced in South Korea oh gosh everyone is involved even if you're not a celebrity all your families are involved all your family members okay let's see Let's see the externals. <laughs> the magician is in reverse. I don't think he is serious with all the girls who wants him so badly. No, he's not using that so much. I think he's just playing around right here. Not taking it seriously or something like um he he doesn't really want to uh commit into something because being the magician coming up in your verse maybe this is also uh the energy of um a cunning energy you know manipulative energy here and he's he's not gonna take things seriously 
Um, I think there's some no. A lot of girls are very interested. Women, <laughs> a lot of women are very interested in him. Of course, he's he's so gorgeous. He's very famous. He's very successful, and he's very talented actor. He's really, really, really good, and he he's not taking that seriously. He's not going to commit any time soon. Because I think this is the way he observe it. This is his own free will because the two of ones is right here. It's his choice if he's going to take things seriously. This is the external first one that pops up. Even though there are some um a lot of uh, things is happening right now there's a sense of manipulation here not that he is manipulating people no he's not he's, it's not like that but I think he's trying to control his decision because I think he thinks that there are some people that he cannot trust mm -hmm. a very cunning uh, energy Oh, the two of cups. The first water that came out. Very intriguing, guys. I'm sorry, I burped. <laughs> I just ate my dinner. <laughs> oh, the two of cups is all about love. It's all about mutual affection. As the external, I think he's not going to give in to whatever that there is in his table. He's not going to be seriously involved in here. Even though he, he wants the affection, he wants that mutual agreement or that physical pleasure that he needs. But no, um, he, he's not going to be very serious. Even though there's tons of um, mutual interest right there in the two of cups. Liking... Uh, this person and this person also likes him back that's the mutual agreement here but let's see okay spirit give us the last card for the external oh the wheel of fortune <laughs> great there's the three of cups in reverse so I think the Wheel of Fortune right here is he's having fun. He's seriously having fun, but he's not going to commit anytime soon. It's not his way. I don't think he's ready for this. Yeah, but I think what he has right now with somebody, definitely there is someone that he is seeing. Definitely there is. What he is trying to do here is to just have fun. There's the fun side of this. And he's very feeling lucky to have this woman because this woman is very much interested with him. And he's also interested with her. But it's, I don't think that he's going to be serious anytime soon because Three of Cups is in reverse. And I think that is a trust issue. Yep. Also, with um, it's also some people might get to know it so he's trying to defend it or he's trying to be very very secretive about it that's the three of cups for you in reverse i don't think he is willing to compromise that's what i'm seeing because the three of cups is already in reverse um as the external external right here <clears throat> He might think of other people, what, what, what other people might say when he is going to, if, however, he's going to be very serious with this setup, you know. He might think of other people like, oh, dude, I don't think it's gonna work, you know, this kind of criticism. But he is enjoying it very, very much. So, I mean, there's no uh, bad thing about enjoying the company of someone, right? He likes her. And this woman also likes him so much. But I don't think it's going to be a long-term 
No, it's not. Hmm. Because, you know, he is uh, avoiding the gossip, avoiding the criticism of other people. The Three of Cups reverse. That's the underlying part of the external here. So let's go to his career. Okay, spirit. God, guys, angels, like angels, universe, and sun stars, and all spirit. What is the career of Song Jun Ki? Oops. Very great. I go forward with confidence. This is so nice, guys. This is him. Um, very powerful energetic robust determined and there's no stopping him it's it's an unstoppable energy of the triad ready and go go agile fighting that kind of energy maybe he's also looking for some challenges here with the chariot i can sense that he is looking for a challenge um let's see movie that he was so so good the wolf kind of and um movie i forgot the title <laughs> oh my god that was so great his acting was spectacular i think he's looking for a challenge here another kind of role that he hasn't been in that's what his focus is all about and they're ready to learn hmm else i mean he's not gonna say no to any challenge that's the point of the triad here let's see okay let's see if there's another project that's would really stretch his skill his skills in acting and maybe you know we never know if he's going to direct a movie Oh, this is him. I love it. The King of Pentacles. I am sure of my place in the world. This is stability. This is a great sign that he is in a very foundational career. Solid fans. I mean, um, this is so great. This is all what he needs in his career. Stability and security and prosperity. This is also, I feel like this. There, there's a sense of willing to take a risk to a very challenging role. I'm so excited. The King of Pentacles is really great. Pyrite is uh, the stone of money and fortune. <coughs> Abundance. Yes. And Carnelian is all about, uh, Carnelian here is all about creativity. All right, what else about his career? Oh gosh, he is very, very rich, you know. I celebrate everything I achieve. There's an upcoming achievement. This is so great. The Maltres is also about money. Yeah, there. This is so great, guys. I'm so happy for him. I wish I have all this in my career. <laughs> <laughs> you guys this is so nice there's a chariot king of very consistent you know his reading is not confusing it's very easy to read very certain you know very uh consistent and certain like there's no confusion or mystery that i'm seeing in his reading it's it's so blunt and it's very clear the ten of pentacles is very great with the king of pentacles there's an achievement maybe he's going to receive an award or maybe he's up for a challenge that would really give him the reward that he's been aiming for mm, yeah but he has to work hard for that in order to achieve that goal yep so guys this is his reading i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i wish i could uh upload this guys <laughs> if you're going to allow me to upload this i hope you allow me because um 
I haven't uploaded anything from for Taratella channel. I have two channels, Taratella PH and Taratella. And I hope you allow me to upload this. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to Jeon Yubin. And I have to um, say thank you again for Marie for purchasing this reading. I really, really love you and I love all the squads. I hope I can be part of your squad. <laughs> and see you and love, love, love and light. Namaste.